this is the plaintiff, Kevin Nedwood. He says he was incorrectly towed from a legal spot on the street. He proved his case in court and got the ticket dismissed. Now the defendant won't return his tow fee. He did nothing wrong. The defendant's running a scam, and he's here on the good name of justice seeking the return of his hard-earned $320, the cost of the bogus tow. This is the defendant, Mike Esdrin. He says he was called to tow the plaintiff's vehicle because it was blocking a driveway. The cops ticketed the car. He towed it, and that was that. Now, the plaintiff's trying to get his tow fee returned because he evidently got his ticket reversed, and the guy thinks he's going to tow cars for free? Ha! He's accused of making a mistake. All parties, please use your right hand. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiff says he was towed illegally in his proof. The ticket got dismissed, but the defendant says it was blocking a driveway. End of story. It's the case of going toe to toe. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome. Okay, Mr. Nedwood, you are suing International Towing Company, represented here by its owner, Mr. Esdrin, for $320 that you paid for a tow that you want returned to you. Yeah. Okay, tell me what happened. I parked my car the night before. What's the night before? What uh, day did you park your car? February 7th, okay. February 8th, uh, came outside, everything was fine, my car was still there. Where was your car parked? My car was parked across the street from the school. Okay. Um, it was a driveway, but um, there's no active sign saying that the driveway is active. No active sign? There's, there's no sign that says it's an active driveway. Do you have a sign in your house that says it's an active driveway? I've never seen a sign that says this is an active driveway. You oh, knew yeah, it was a driveway. There's plenty of uh, driveways that state that. State that. Okay. I've seen, I've seen Did you too. know you were parking? So you're telling me you were parking in a driveway? It's, I haven't seen any cars in and out. It's not so a, you haven't seen people using the driveway? Correct. correct. So you left your car there? Uh, it wasn't blocking it. I don't think it was. You don't think it was? Was it blocking it partially? Uh, not to me. Well, in your, in your complaint, you state... Oh, it, it was it's two inches. But. Okay, so in your complaint, you actually state uh, a couple of inches. All right, and what happens? Uh, I came back. Um, I, I went upstairs, came back downstairs to go to work, and my car was gone. Before I went upstairs, my car was there, perfectly fine. About an hour later, okay. my car was gone. Okay, and? Um, I called uh, everyone around. I said um, I thought my car was stolen. Called the police. They Did you? Up. Even though you were parked in a driveway? Yeah. Okay. Like, I don't know where my car goes missing after it was there an hour before. So, um, called the police. I filed the police report, and uh, they said that interna International Towing Company had my car. All right. And they know that because part of the law is that when you tow a car, you have to let the, the precinct know so that when someone doesn't see their car there and thinks it's stolen, they find the information of where they got towed to. Right. All right. Also, there was a uh, a ticket saying that I was blocking the driveway. A by, ticket issued by whom? By the police. Oh, Over so you got a ticket for, for blocking the driveway. Right. So That's, it's not a, a he said, he said. You actually got a ticket because the cop said, yeah, what he says. Because you were blocking it, it the driveway. Was saying it was blocking the driveway. All right. But I went to uh, get the case dismissed. Oh, before you do that, you, you find out that that's where your car is towed, and what do you mm -hmm. do? Oh, um, I called the company. The company uh, stated that I can get my car for $320. So you ordered the platinum package, where they deliver the car to you. Oh, no. Now, unlike <laughs> us mere mortals who get a ride over to the tow yard and then, uh, you know, have to fight with the tow people, not that you all aren't, like, the best, but... Uh, you know, you actually <laughs> asked them, so you paid double. That way, because the tow was how much? Well, he wanted the car returned to him. It was 10 o'clock at night when it was returned, 10 p.m. So what? So how much did was the first tow? The tow was 125 And six, then the second tow? Uh, $60, pull it out of the yard, and 185 to bring it back. To bring to it him. back. So he ordered the platinum package. Yeah, he wanted it. Gets the, the thing way. returned <laughs> right. to him. What kind of car is this? Uh, Cadillac. Okay. What year? 97. Ooh, old enough to vote. Okay. So then you fight the ticket in court, and uh, what? They dismissed it. They said that the same thing I said, there was no active signs, and it, it was no active driveway. Do you have any proof that that's why they dismissed it as opposed to that, uh, you know? Yes, I do. 
Okay, let me see what they've what you've got. Not just that they dismissed it. I believe you that they oh, dismissed well, that's, that's it. I said that that's why they dismissed it. That there was some factual finding in your favor. Like a miracle. I have some pictures of the property. There's about 20 to 10 cars back there on any given day. What is that? That's the pictures of the property, the school, where he was parked, and the driveway. Do you have an actual picture of his car parked? No, no. OK, I yeah. Do no, I don't know why tow truck drivers don't just do that. It, it would make so much sense. It gets lost in our phones. We'll, we'll yeah, never it save it. Lost. Just do you know, How come none of the pictures in my 52,000 pictures in my phone get lost? They're all there <laughs> in their glory. When you lose your phone, man. Oh, well, that's, uh, that's, there's the rub. Back it up to iCloud. Then you guys, there's no excuse for that. I don't know why you guys don't j just take a picture of all the scratches and any, any problems on the car. Then you don't get into this kind of match. And then they're just on your phone. If your phone is back to iCloud, you can't lose them. You lose a phone, but you don't lose the pictures. You, you know, think about it. OK, so that that's the driveway is actually of the school? No, it's it's the uh, play playground of the school. It's, right. That's the fence belongs to the school. Okay. Okay. Bit. So where is he parked? This way, this way, or sideways? He's sideways. He's on the left side of that street where your hand is. Perpendicular yeah. to. Yep. At like the, that. At, yeah, almost on the drive. You know, blocking. The, they can't swing that turn. And if there's a car on the other side of that street, they, you they can't, can't come go through. On. Yeah, they can't come okay. on at all. Oh, well, this is interesting. The respondent has been charged with violating traffic rule 4-08F2 by standing or parking a vehicle in front of a public or private driveway. City resources shows that there is no driveway at the cited location. Summons dismissed. Tell me about that. And that's what they stated. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you get so lucky? If the ticket gets dismissed, is the tow truck company responsible? Um, no. Because? Because they got the okay from the police to tow the car. They should be paid. Even for if the police were wrong? Uh, yes. Okay. Going inside the courtroom. We can't take a car without, without a ticket. Without the police issuing yeah, a so ticket. So we have a ticket on a car. We don't know if it's a legal driveway. Or that's for someone else to decide. You know, I, no, I understand up. that. Well, plus he ordered the platinum package. Yeah. So uh, that was a choice he made. <laughs> but um, well, this is interesting. But you can't block somebody in the driveway. They can't get out. So I don't what know. Do they why, do? why? I don't know why this hearing officer... Administrative law judge um, decided that city resources shows there's no driveway at the cited location. I, I don't know how city resources, what are city resources? Do you does have she, the How does house? he or she look for whether or not there's a driveway without pictures? Or did you bring pictures? Uh, the pictures. To your trial? I can't imagine you did. <laughs> and there's nobody else there. Why? They don't help you for Lord knows. So what did, what did this administrative law judge look at that made them conclude city resources show? Do you know? No, I have no idea. How did it go? How did it look? You went in there and what happened? I'm uh, fascinated. I just told them that uh, my, talk, my, call was, my, my call was told and they went out to the site. I don't know when they did it, but they came, they came back and gave me the note. No, well, you can't just say, hey, somebody took my car and therefore dismissed my ticket. What did you say about the actual charge against you? Um, well, I didn't say much. Well, I you did, had to say something. I, I showed them the the, the, uh, the tow ticket, and they didn't. Felt bad. Yeah, I, I don't know. They and didn't they feel bad. bad. But I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. I don't know. I, I can't. Call you it. just don't know the effect you have on people. Uh, you know yeah. that all that charm just oozing it's out. Probably. It, it, yeah, that worked work. with the last one though. Because here's the thing. <laughs> You want me to order them to return your money. OK, starting with, I would never order them to return the platinum package part, because that was a choice. Um, I have to find that they did something wrong in order to order them to return your money. They don't even, this is how careful the tow companies are. They don't, and, and the government is, they won't even let them tow until a ticket's on your car mm. so that they know they're not going to have liability. Then they tow on behalf of the government, and then a member of the government says, oh, um, you know, I find, well, a member of the government, a member of, of the administrative law judges says, 
Uh, I don't, I, you know, city resources say X. I'm happy for you that this happened. I suggest you sue New York City with mm -hmm. this. But for in court, for someone to be ordered, okay, you're out now $350, I have to find that they did something wrong and the cops issued the ticket. So they didn't do anything wrong. So th if your argument is the cops should have never issued the ticket and the administrative law judge seems to say that, then you're gonna have to end up suing the city of New York for the 350 and say, I should have never been given a ticket. But I can't just make them do it because they did an honest day's work. They did exactly what they're supposed to do. They, w they got the call, they waited for the police to ticket, and then they towed the car. We had situations where the cops came and said, we're not ticketing this. This right. is not a driveway, it's not enough blocking, and you know. How does not... it work? Are you guys on the prowl? No, no, Why is there anything prowl. wrong with that? Everybody's gotta eat. <laughs> I'm just saying, you like. You can't prowl. So did the school call, who calls you? The building. Yes. All right, so my verdict, because of what I've just explained to you, my verdict in this case is for the defendant. But because of what you've explained to me, you may have a case against New York. Mm -hmm. well, that'll be fun. Drop me a line and let me know if you win. <laughs> All right, good luck. Thank right, you. Hold on, hold on, please. So in a very interesting case, the plaintiff loses here in the people's court, but the judge tells him you might have a case against the city of New uh, York. Yeah. What do you think about that? I think uh, that would be wonderful. Because it's wrong, it's wrong. I was wrongfully cited, I believe. Well, the judge tends to mm -hmm. agree with you, but the thing is, you're going to follow that up? Oh, you're yes, going to explore yeah, that? Of course I am. Well, good enough. Thank you very much. Thank good luck to you. It. Okay. Now, here comes Mr. Ezra and the defendant. Were you worried at all about this no, prevailing here? Not at all. I felt we were in the right. Obviously. As we always are. As you always are? Yes. You, you sound like you come to court quite frequently. No, not really. No. Oh, okay. I try not to. Well, that's good. Well, congratulations Thank to you. you so all right. much. Thank you for good Thank to you. see you. Thank you. Harvey? So in the end, the tow truck company did what was reasonable. They relied on the police. If the police ended up being wrong, it was still a close call, and the tow truck company did nothing wrong.